Good morning, everybody. I found the turkey. The only problem is he's on the other side of another creek. But I, both times I've seen this turkey, he's been on this side of the creek. So I'm hoping he'll fly across this morning at some point. Still a little dark to try to find a way across the creek. So I'm going to sit here and see what happens after fly down. Hopefully we can get it done. I haven't called to this turkey yet at all. The last two days that I've seen him. So we'll see what happens when we start to call.
Well, oh, I'm trying to catch my breath. Been on turkeys all morning. I was planning on coming in on a turkey that I spotted the first day I was here. It's a big old gobbler. And uh, yesterday I came in here to roost him, and there was a big gobbler right on the road. Several hens. Hens went one way, he went another way. I thought, good setup for tomorrow if they roost apart. That'd be gobbling pretty good. So I came in there this morning, and uh, not just one gobbler. Actually, there was one gobbler across the creek. I went towards the creek to see how close I could get to him. And before I could set up, another bird started gobbling down the creek. And I thought, well, it's getting pretty light now. I didn't think I could move. So I waited a little bit and he just kept hammering. And the bird across the creek kept gobbling as well. So I finally, I said, I gotta get in the game and get over that way. Went down the creek. Uh, by the time I got down over, kind of close to where I wanted to stop and wait and listen and no more gobbling, shut up. Uh, so I waited there for like 10, 15 minutes. I started calling a little bit. A bird flew out of the tree right behind me. But it, I was nowhere near where the gobbler was gobbling. So I figured it might have been a hen that was separated a little bit. So while all this was happening, I waited another 10 minutes after the bird flew off. And I started to yelp a little bit a couple times. And a bird gobbled down the river hard. I mean, probably 300 yards. So I'm like, okay, they're down the river. They're already on the ground. They're down the river. So I went in around to make a big swoop to get around in front of them. I had to climb a hill, got up to the road level, got up to the hill where the road, there's a hen in the road. She took off running. She ran down the road and I spotted something up in front of her. Well, 300 yards up in front of her was a couple more birds. I opened it up. I got my binoculars out. Long beard and three hens. They get up on this hill and they were really looking hard and I just froze. I just stood there for, it seemed like five hours, but it was probably five minutes. My calves were cramping up and I was just standing there. Finally, one of the hens, they were all alert, all standing there right on the ridge. Finally, one of the hens just laid down. As Soon as she laid down, the gobbler went in the strut. And it was cold, it was like 32 degrees this morning. Anyway, finally they walked up they relaxed a little bit they walked over the hill so I got up went over to the hill climbed up the hill right before I get to the hill I heard him spit and drum to my right I'm like this bird's dead I set the camera down turned the video on started sneaking up about halfway up to the ridge a bird across the the creek a hen started bah, 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 bah. and a bird gobbled across the creek and this bird gobbled but he was to the left sounded to me to he was to the left so I climbed up, I got all the way to, and I'm looking to the left, something catches my eye to the right, and there's turkeys to my right, and they are, took off running. So I blew that one. So I got off to the ridge. As I'm going where I can overlook down into the creek and everything, I started calling. The bird kept gobbling across the creek. <sighs> Sat there for about 15 minutes, called back and forth. A hen answered me a couple times, and another bird gobbled to my right, down off the flat completely opposite direction of where the bird I just spooked and uh, anyway I'm making this long but nothing happened the bird gobbled the next time he gobbled he sounded like he was way down the creek so I get down start heading down that way get down pretty close to where I think I'm probably within a couple hundred yards of him and I called nothing no gobble then a hen picks up and behind me like I'd already passed her start pet 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 I sat down, set the camera down. I started going back at her, pet, 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 pet. She just, and she started going crazy. And when she started going crazy, the bird down the creek, 500 yards gobbled. My gosh, dang it. So if I show you the video, she come right to me. I mean, she was like 15 yards behind me. Just pet, 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 yap, 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 yap. Some good audio of some hands, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, she gets right behind me, and he's gobbling again. He gobbled two or three more times. Well, finally, I'm like, I'm getting, I'm going to run her off, and I'm going to head down the creek. So I ran her off, ran down the creek, never heard that turkey gobble again. So I'm like, forget it. 
go back in the truck. I want to go across the creek and get around. There's another road down there. So I get down there, cross the creek, get on the other little road that kind of parallels the road that I was on, but it's on the other side of the creek. So anyway, I drive down probably half a mile. Get out of the car. Before I can do anything, this bird gobbles. About three, four hundred yards in front of me and on the side of the mountain. I'm like, that's that's weird. I grab my stuff, get my vest on, get my get everything, start heading down that way, and he's gobbling like every 10 seconds, just non-stop. Gobble, gobble, gobble. But he's higher, getting higher, and this mountain is straight up. I mean, it is steep. So I'm like. Man, that's the only goblin bird I got going on right now. So I started climbing this mountain. I climbed the mountain to it went over this little hill. And when it went over, there was a little valley went to the right and a valley went straight ahead. I'm thinking, if this bird went up and over this, he's going to be in one of these valleys. Before I did anything, a hint starts rap, 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 to the left, valley straight ahead. So I yelped at her, yelp, yelp, yelp. She yelped back and I heard a yelp, yelp, yelp. Jake Calc. I'm like, okay, I'm going to go to this valley to the right, get around this mountain, get up on top of the mountain in front of them. So I did. I went around, climbed up the mountain. When I get up to the top of this mountain, which is this right here, I start climbing up. I slow down. I start climbing, cre creepy, creepy, crawling, not crawling, but nice and slow. Get up to the top. There's a redhead looking at me. So I just froze, didn't do anything. Look to the right. There's two more. So I'm just standing there in the open, in the shade, but I was in the open. My camp, my gun over my head and my camera on my shoulder. So I stood there forever, <laughs> ever. I was just barely shifting a little weight from one leg to the other. Finally, they, they walked off. I was pretty sure that the bird that I could see, the dark bird that I could see was a Jake and there was two hens in front of me. They kind of walked off the hill and then they kind of went around with just their heads peeking up over the hill keeping an eye on me the whole way so I finally had gotten my binoculars up where I could see them really good and as I'm looking at the two heads and then another little head came there was a Jake that was with them at least one Jake and then all of a sudden another bird come from the right with his head down and he chased the Jake off and I knew it was the big gobbler but I my gun is around my head and the camera on my shoulder and I'm freezing there. I'm just frozen, just waiting for them to go off the hill so I can get this stuff off of me so I can get my gun. So they finally worked their way off. I can't see them anymore. I never heard a putt. Never heard. They just knew something was up. They didn't like it. So I'm thinking maybe they just walked off a little bit, relaxed. I'm going to get up here, sit down, and I'm going to wait for like, 15 20 minutes and then call see what happens so I set the camera down right here and I thought I'm gonna walk over to the edge just to see what it looks like down off that side it was pretty thick to the left big timber walked over to the edge and there's a turkey looking at me and he started putting and moving to the left and then there's four more to the right two hands and two jakes and that turkey kept putting he kept putting so I could hear him moving to the right to the left to the left I had my gun had my gun up and if he had went off the hill I'd have never got a shot but he climbed the ridge the other little ridge in front of me and I could see it was the long beard and when he come out in the open I shot and killed him this is number two it's a good bird he's got pretty good spurs for Miriam I think he's a three-year-old uh, pretty good beard for Miriam but as I went off the hill to get him this whole place is just scratched up they they just love this little spot right here. This is a spot in the middle of nowhere. No roads around. Steepest mountain around. And when you got on top, it's just a flat, beautiful little spot. And they're just, they, they love it here. They've just been living here. You can tell with all the scratching, that old scratching, new scratching, turkey crap. I mean, everything that turkeys have been here for a long time. So, anyway, this is my number two for Washington. I'm done for Washington. I'm going to head to Idaho. My brother lives in St. Mary's, Idaho. I'm going to head that way. How's that? Is that a good picture? I'm going to head to Idaho. See if I can kill me an Idaho turkey.
sorry about the video no video today but i did kill a turkey